Hi everyone, I hope you can hear me. Uh, Tom here, Without Clue Wargaming. I'm here at the Broadside Show 2017. Um, we've done loads of videos today. This is just a really quick overview of what the show's like and we're gonna talk about some of the things that we're gonna be doing. Um, we've done interviews, there's loads of cool people here, loads of awesome games that I've never seen before. So we'll be putting these up over the next couple of weeks. So be excited and look forward to it. See you in a minute. So there you go guys, what you've just seen is literally the shortest possible um, overview of a few of the things we saw at the show today. Um, we filmed absolutely loads, um, we've got interviews with Mantic about the Walking Dead game, uh, we've got interviews with a bunch of different local clubs um, talking about their own homebrewed games they've put together that you can go and actually visit the clubs and visit other shows and play the games, some of them are really good. Um, we spoke to uh, the guys who are making fourth quarter uh, American football which um, actually it's a really cool game, really, really interesting. I quite like American football anyway, I have to say. And it's um, it's really interesting the way the rules have been put together and it was cool to get some background from where the ideas come from and um, the fact that uh, the gent whose name escapes me, I'm afraid, at the moment, um, he actually was an American football player and coach for about 10 years, so he's kind of really coming from that. And he's just blended his love of miniature games and his actual history as being an American football player and coach into what is a really cool game. Um, we saw uh, some painting service guys, we saw uh, Flames of War, we had a big chat uh, about the new Flames of War, El Alamein starter box. Um, yeah, just all sorts. We were all over the place. It was a really, really good day. Show was incredibly busy. Um, it was really warm in there, but everyone was really enjoying themselves. Everyone was really positive. I know from talking to a few of the traders, I know uh, personally after the show, they all seemed to have a really good show. They did really well. They had a lot of interest, um, a lot of networking going on, meeting a lot of new people I hadn't spoken to before. Um, and yeah, just all in all, a fantastic experience. It continues to be one of my favorite war game shows. It is small, it's intimate. Um, but it's just that great blend of local people, some more established companies, you get to see some really nice stuff, and of course you get to spend a bit of money. I shouldn't have spent money this year, um, seeing as I was filming, but I did manage to. I've put a picture of these up on my Facebook for those of you who haven't seen them. Um, I found a Skaven converted 40k army, so this is obviously uh, the original metal, he's very heavy, Gazgold, made into a kind of rat ogre. And then I also picked up a 10 man squad, I'm just trying to grab a couple of them, of Skaven Imperial Guard, which are just the oddest little models I've ever seen. Um, I've got a Flamer, I've uh, got this guy's going to be my uh, sergeant so to speak. So what I'm going to use these as, I've got a full 10 man squad here and there's actually a few more they had that I'm, uh, I'm talking to them about getting the rest. Uh, is as my kill team for Shadow War, which we've been talking about doing for a while, and we finally decided to do it. So I just want a really unique little army for uh, for Shadow War, so you're going to see those a little bit more. I've already written my list using them, 1,000 points, and we're going to play through that. Um, yeah, just really good. Um, and yeah, we, we just spoke to a lot of people. Mantic, um, the Walkie Dead game looks awesome. It's something we've been meaning to get into for a while and we're definitely going to be playing it on the channel now. I've seen it played for real. Um, it's just unique. It's a really unique game. And they've very kindly given us the event exclusive Lee and Clementine, Clementine uh, event exclusive miniature pack 
uh, which we can use as one of our thousand subscriber giveaways. So this is also now included in the thousand subscriber competition. Um, absolutely awesome. I mean, even if you don't play Walking Dead, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous model, and um, I'm sure most people really enjoy painting it. Uh, yeah, so videos will be coming up in the next couple of weeks um chris who you've not seen on the channel before he's a friend of mine he's assisting us um with the actual filming and um he filmed today and he's also been teaching me a lot about filming and editing and sound quality and things like that he's a videographer by trade so he's really you know knowledgeable in what he does there and he's helping us he came along he's basically going through the video getting it ready for me to do the final edits on so you should see the first proper interviews going up next weekend um we're also filming some battle reports next weekend we have a new narrative campaign thing we're going to start running and obviously we're also going to be starting this uh shadow war campaign which has kind of been kicked into another gear today um yeah just having seen other games it's really inspired me and i think that's the great thing about these shows that they give you some inspiration this has been a very 30k centric channel and uh, we still love 30k and we're going to keep playing 30k don't get me wrong but i think it's time we start spreading out a little bit more into some other games because there's some awesome games out there guys um that just i don't see them on youtube and unless you go to these shows you never really see them because they are quite niche but they're made by fantastic companies who've got loads and loads and loads of experience in what they're doing and i think it's up to people like us and communities like us to kind of share them and get them out there so yeah thanks for checking out this quick overview video um definitely if you live anywhere in the southeast look at going to broadside next year every year it's a great show it gets better and better and better and i'm sure it's only going to continue to do so so until next weekend i'll see you soon please like and subscribe obviously let's get to this thousand subs now guys we the stack for the prizes is building up and up and up. We've got a Rhino in there now, a drop pod. We've got this in there. Um, I'm going to try and add something from either Bolt Action or Flames of War, even if I have to get it out of my own pocket. I'm just trying to make like a cool grab bag of different games and bits and pieces for people, okay? So, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you soon.